Okay folks, we're finally using one of my brand new micro SD cards that I got on eBay. They're just the same ones that I, same as the ones as I typically get from Officeworks. Uh, SanDisk and they're like uh, 128 gigabytes worth of storage. So that's really good. And I got them for nearly half price, just over half price. So I'm really happy with that and it seems to be working just fine. Apparently it came all the way from the States. So I had to save a bit of money because it's getting a bit tight. Electricity's going up and rent goes up. So basically I've got to somehow make allowances. So wondering how big we're going to make this. We're going here. <coughs> Hear that, folks? That's not a good sound for a fairly new machine, so it's pretty shitty. You can hear it. Yeah, now you can't. Right, now I'm wondering what we're going to do with this. Oh, dear. We're going to make it negative positive. <coughs> I wonder what sort of background colour we're going to give it. We're going to leave it, I think. We'll see how it turns out. Um, what are we going to do here? We're just going to pump the colours up as we normally do. This, this um, black toner cartridge will need to probably be re replaced sometime today while I'm at it. So we'll see what we can do with this. Interesting, this one's... An interesting one it's going to be a challenge if ever so we're going here this one's really colorful so it should come up a treat uh, wondering we're going to use brightness we're not going to use the copy dent not going to use the contrast and we're just going to add some red for some reason and the hue is going to the cooler end close to the end now that's dropped out and we've got red i don't know how this is going to look with those settings we'll soon find out it's going to be a tricky one to do anyway uh what have we got it is right we all recognize this patterns it's a slurpy cup a, a, a cup that i used and i washed it out quickly i just gave it a quick rinse Figured these would make a really nice demo with the lovely rainbows. You could say this is capitalism, of course. Capitalism loves to use bright... F That's the problem with capitalism. It makes artists turn to, to commercial art studios instead of creating visual art for the sake of art. It's just become a commercial thing, art has. It's become a dead, dead, dead and dying capitalist piggy uh sort of a thing and now we're just taking back what advertising takes and we turn this into fine art back into fine art so i really hate capitalism but i do like a lot of the graphics that they use and i just love to subvert them with this machine and hopefully when i get married to luigi we'll have other machines to use as well and we're subverting the use of this piece of shit which is also born out of capitalism fucking copier industry is a fucking capitalist rort anyway that looks quite interesting i'm wondering if we're going to do any better or if we're just going to use this lovely image and we're going to make it into a mirror image and make something out of it we don't need the whole lot we just need part of it so we don't have to slavishly copy the original we've got to make it uh, make it another kind of original we've got to make it original the way we re we subvert the commercialism that that has become a part of being a visual artist because most there's not much money to be made in visual art unless you're a fucking ken doan who's already established as a as a um an artist that's able to make money out of what he creates and he's i got the feeling he's a capitalist porker as well like he's sort of you know he's very he's very privileged 
to be in that area because making art money out of art isn't so easy it's never been easy for most artists but I found it particularly difficult uh, I've given up on exhibiting work in art galleries uh, I just feel the art gallery system is just too snorty it's always snorty like everything is is made for the rich person not the not the poor or the less fortunate in the socio-economic stakes I'm afraid and I'm not one of the lucky ones when it comes to making money I'm I'm dead stupid at making money all I can do is, is subvert things and create things and make think outside the box because you've got to you know to be I guess to be a successful artist you have to learn to think outside the box but the thing is it seems that the box is all that all that you have and you've got to somehow find a way out of the box so you can fucking make your own way. Like, yeah, I don't care what the capitalist piggies think of my art. It's their fucking problem because they're the bad guys. Capitalism is bad. It's okay to... It doesn't mean we have to go back and, and be communist because communism's not good either. But we, we've got to be socialist. We've got to consider the social ramifications of business. But we don't have to be uh, a bloody, what do you call it? Uh, yeah, you don't have to be a fucking, how should I put it? A fucking, yeah, you don't have to be a communist to appreciate that money is, the love of money is the root of all evil. I'm sorry if it sounds biblical, but <laughs> I don't want to be a Bible basher. No way. I hate that because... <sighs> That's as I hear a lot of stories about religion causing causing war. So yeah, I don't want to basically advance that kind of thing. So I think we better keep the Bible bashing away. But I'm just quite. But it is in the Bible, funnily enough. I don't know how it got there because you know the Bible is considered by most people as something that's out of date. And yeah. Maybe they are right. I don't know, uh, but it's a, it's a, but it seems strange that it, it, the love of money being the root of all evil seems to be playing out in real life. How can that be so? If the Bible is actually a a con, well, why the fuck is it? Is it? Well, anyway, I don't want to bash the Bible. Fuck me, dead. We've got enough problems in this fucking world without adding to them. So I think I'll I'll stop talking about that shit right now. We'll just get on to something else. Anyway, this looks interesting. We're just trying to make some adjustments here to make this look a lot better. But we should turn to socialism. Socialism is what we need. We still need money. Don't get me wrong. We don't have to hate money. We don't have to we don't have to give up money. Money is an important part of society, but it's got the attitude towards money has got to change. It's got to be more socially how should I put it? Socially, uh, what's the word? Socially responsible. And they use a lot of this talk in business, like Konica Minolta have used the term socially responsible. And yet I don't see any responsibility of them. I just see irresponsibility. Raw, ugly capitalism. Belting out whatever, you know, it, it's just a bloody... Rort. Konica Minolta is just another capitalist piggy company. And I wonder why these Slurpee drinks are so fucking cheap. One dollar for a big Slurpee. Most things in our capitalist society, such as the country I'm from, Australia, there's always, everything's always expensive, almost. But it seems that the Slurpee has defied the odds of, of, Inflation, I don't know. The only way I can explain it, I can understand maybe why it's happening, is because maybe Slurpees are born on slave labour. You know, they come from 7-Eleven for crying out loud, and that's a huge company. And you've got to expect something to be a little bit strange, a little bit fishy. Because, you know, cause the reason why things are so cheap often is because they're made in China or made in some third world country where human rights are being abused and it's a funny thing I, I see I have to use a lot of these products just to just to, you know just to live in the modern world but fuck I do think about these little 
people in sweatshops and factories like clothing, although I've managed to offset some of the misery in the clothing side of things by buying most of my stuff secondhand. Yeah, I've got the mirror image. So I buy mostly secondhand. So I so basically we avoid we avoid again we just the yeah, you know, the clothes get a second chance or sometimes the clothes are brand new still with the labels, but I'd rather buy something that's being cast off than than go into a shop and buy brand new. I try to avoid that shit. So that's one area where I'm trying to contribute to a more fairer, equitable society, but I'm not in the position to fully go and avoid uh, stupid things that that are slave labour. This photocopier that you see behind me, parts of it were made in China and Vietnam, and some and another another ones made in and made in Japan as well. But but most of it, I suspect, is made in China, uh, and I just see that it's. I believe it's slave labour that probably most likely put it together, but I need a photocopier, and there's no photocopiers that I know of that are sustainable. So now we've got an interesting result out of this, this slurpy design. I think now we can call this one quits.